So I have to A, tell you just how much I love Ruby and I wanted her to be my grandmother. <laughs> no shade to my grandmother. Ruby Johnson is everybody's grandmother. <laughs> so kind of like looking back on that, how does it feel to be here and I mean, everyone was kids when y'all first started. Like, how does it feel to be in this moment? Listen here, girl, shoot. I'm going to miss my babies. I'm going to miss my grandbabies. Yeah. What's your relationship they're, like amongst each other? They're not babies anymore. They have mustaches and everything that goes with it. They had to grow up. Well, you know, I promised them money every time I used profanity on set. Never gave them a dime. Okay. What are you saying? Look, I wouldn't have had a bank account, and you know it. So all I do is cuss. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I think we're PG-13. It's fine. Girl, <laughs> I don't care, girl. The kids, what they're watching today, oh, it's a new day, baby. So out of all the story arcs that we've seen, what were some of your favorites? Like, what were some of the, the most complex for you? And, like, what are the most memorable ones for you? So, um, I guess we're on set. Character arcs. I don't think I heard you. Character arcs. Character arts? I feel like all the characters oh, have gone through arcs. so much. Oh, arcs. Yes. Oh, I'm I so focused. I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's all this. I couldn't hear. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Um, well, Ruby and Earl, you know, we got married and we're sailed off into the sunset. And I think Ruby, um, Ruby's arc was gone through all the drama that she needed to, but what made her loved by millions was her warm heart. Ruby loved her grandbabies. No matter how much foolish, no matter how much foolish as foolishness and mess she'd get into, it always came back to the love of her son, his family, and Earl. I, I, I enjoyed playing Ruby. What do you want the legacy of the show to be? Because at this point... That we were bold. Okay. That we were bold. That we had audacity. That we were unafraid. We spoke to issues that nobody had touched. The N-word, Juneteenth. Look, we got it on the calendar. Come on, girl. And... Um, Churched was one of my favorite episodes because I liked Ru what Ruby had to say in doing that. Um, but no, I had the time of my life doing Blackish, and um, I'm honored to be a part of history, uh, television history in that way. Um, it's a show we were proud of. It, it was a great show, and it'll be around forever. So I'm proud of that. Cherry on top of my career. So if you could, if we could catch up with Ruby in 10 years, where do you think she'd be? Like, where would she be? Girl, Ruby would be somewhere looking for her teeth. <laughs> Girl, Ruby would be somewhere uh, making out with Earl. Okay. Ruby would be somewhere, oh, playing with her own great grandbabies. Hello. <laughs> Ruby would be walking into their houses and taking over, taking the baby. Yeah, but I, uh, you know, I'm doing a new series. Yeah. I love that for you on Showtime with Vanessa Bayer and Molly Shannon. So I am so excited about that. What can we look forward to? Because I've actually been reading about that. You what about that? I've been, I've been reading about it. So yeah, what can yeah, we look yeah. forward to? All I can tell you is the show is great. It's a comedy. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's about Vanessa Bayer. It's, a, uh, it's based on her childhood when she had cancer and... You know, I'm playing a billionaire ice queen who owns the network. Oh, honey, get ready, children. That's all I have to say. Get ready. Her name is Patricia Cochran, and you know I'm showing my ass. Come on now. <laughs> you know. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you.